Hey guys, it's me, Brian from Echo and USA, and this is a Echo One Year 25 I built. It's for a sniper build, and it's pretty cool. Let me show you. Uh, right now, I'm chronoing with a .25 Echo BBs. So, shoot. And I'm getting about uh, about 460 or so with a 2.5. So it's still under like the 500 limit. But the downside is, yeah, you're saying, oh, sniper BBs. Downside is, I can still go full auto. And that's not fun. No one wants to face the BBs like that. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this a field legal, safe, semi, and semi auto gun. Let's get started. Okay, you guys, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and take this apart. Uh, this video will also help in case you want to take apart the year 25. I already have another video, but... I guess uh, just the more the videos, the better. And if you're curious about the internals of the Ear 25, I put in the Echo Gear Set 18.1. It's a standard torque slash stock ratio, and it comes with a blue piston. Uh, aluminum piston head, a Madbull M150, and then a modify cylinder uh, M4 type. So I'll put the, the links below. Or actually, on the Brian at Echo1.com website, I'll have the links because we do sell these on the part shop. These you can find at your local store. You can find these at your part at your local store as well, but if you want a direct link, um, I still have. The stock barrel and it comes with the stock orange mad bull bucking so that's good didn't need to like upgrade everything I could if I wanted but then it's kind of like eh, don't need to go through all the effort and upgrading all the parts you know like this would be really good if you're on a budget if you walk into a store and say I want to make my gun shoot crazy they say oh you need a new hop-up bucking well it comes with a mad bull which is already good you need a new barrel but it's like if you're just trying to get to like the 500 or so within the limit, you know, it's still the stock motor. It's a torque motor, so it's good. It just, uh, you can always ask me on Facebook about like what parts you should get or something like that. I'll give you a good idea. Or you can check with your local store too, or check with two stores and see what they say. Just don't walk in with a handful of money and say, make my gun good. And basically what I'm going to do is, a lot of people say you can put a screw on outside, like if you look at this little button here, you can change to like an M4 selector switch and that would work, but then you take it all apart. Or you can just modify the selector plate, which is the easiest, you don't have to do any crazy cutting or anything. And I've been doing this for like a long time and it works plenty good. Let's go ahead and take off the other body screw. Punch pin and out. Okay, selector plate. You have safe, can't pull the trigger. Semi right here, you pull a trigger and you'll see the cutoff lever move back and forth. Full auto. It's all the way back. Basically what I want to do is cut out this area so it moves and it doesn't touch the cutoff lever. Simple way you can do this is you can take the gearbox apart and slide it off or you can press forward all the way wiggle up just gently, gently and out. Don't lose a little spring. It's bad if you lose it. And I'm just going to use a file real quick, cut to start, and and bam. So you have the modified one, 
in the stock one. Like say if you have a system of one or modify whatever, you know, this is what it's look like. This is the cut one. And the difference is like that. So go ahead and put the spring aside, don't lose it. Slide this one back in. And now the way it travels, it stops here. There's no way it's going to touch the cutoff lever. So what you can do is I grab the spring like so and pull this a little in the end. You can use a longer spring, but if you just have the stock one, this will work fine. Just stretch it out a little like that. That's it. Just to make it a little more uh, resistance. And good. So now it's always there. Good. And real quick, let me show you the insides so you guys can see. Probably asking about the internals. Nope. I'll order more. Okay, here's the spring, stock spring guide, Mad Bull spring. Here's the piston with the piston head. I put in a new cylinder, a modified cylinder, uh, stock nozzle, stock tablet plate, stock cylinder head, which is plenty good. Has a double O ring, plenty reinforced, in case you guys are asking. And gear set, it's the 18 1, and it's plenty good. Let me go ahead and close this up real quick and show you the semi auto function. Okay, now we can go ahead and close this up real quick. Cool. Okay, now it's already cut the springs on there. I don't have to worry about losing anything. Put in the rear body pin. Cool. Basically what I did is rotated the gears just a little because right now the cutoff lever is in the middle. So now I can pull the trigger. Before I couldn't, it was just like in limbo. Okay, almost.
And also this video will work on an M4, same selector plate, so, and also M16, so in case you guys are curious, basically a version 2 will be fine. Same uh, principle will work on AKs, G36, MTCs, SOBs, all that. You just don't want the cutoff lever being pushed back. So if you understand this video, it will work on your other guns. It won't work on a 249, unfortunately, just because uh, 249 doesn't have a selector plate or a cutoff lever. So now there's no full auto. Safe. Semi. Semi. This has been Brian from Echo and you say, thanks for watching.